Therefore be ye followers of God as most dear worthy sons, and walk ye in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God into, him, into the odor of sweetness and fornication and all uncleanness or avarice be not named among you as it becometh holy men, either filth or folly speech or buffoonery that pertaineth not to profit, but more rather doings, doing of thinkings. For know ye this, and understand that each lecher or unclean man or covetous that serveth to malmets hath not heritage in the kingdom of Christ and of God. No man deceive you by vain words, for why for these things the wrath of God came upon the sons of unbelief? Therefore do not ye be made partakers of them. For ye were sometime darknesses, but now ye be light in the Lord. Walk ye as the sons of light. For the fruit of light is in all goodness, and right wiseness, and truth. And prove ye what thing is well pleasing to God. And do not ye commune to unfruit, unfruitious works of darknesses, but more rather reprove ye. For what things be done of them in privy, it is foul yea to speak. And all things that be reproved of the light be openly showed, for all thing that is showed is light. For which thing he saith, Rise thou that sleepest, and rise up from death, and Christ shall lighten thee. Therefore, brethren, see ye how warily we shall go, not as unwise men, but as wise men, again, by, again buying the time, for the days be evil. Therefore, do not ye be made unwise, but understanding which is the will of God, do not ye be drunk of wine, in which is lechery, but be ye filled with the Holy Ghost. And speak ye yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and saying psalm in your hearts to the Lord, evermore doing thankings for all things, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to God and to the Father. Be ye subject together in the dread of Christ, women, be they subject to their husbands, as to the Lord. For the man is head of the woman, as Christ is head of the church. He is Savior of his body. But as the church is subject of Christ, so women to their husbands in all things. Men, love ye your wives, as Christ loved the church, and gave himself for it, to make it holy, and cleanse it with the washing of water, and the word of life, to give the church glorious to himself, that it had no whim, nor riveling, or any such thing, but that it be holy and undefiled. So and men shall love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. For no man hated ever his own flesh, but nourisheth it, and, fo and fostereth it, as Christ doeth the church. And we be members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this thing a man shall forsake his father and mother, and he shall draw to his wife, and they shall be twain in one flesh. This sacrament is great, yea, I say in Christ and in the church. Nevertheless, ye all, each man, love his wife as himself, and the wife dread her husband.